Hi everyone, this is Ward Simpson bringing greetings to you from Franklin, Tennessee. And uh, I'm here with my family. Everybody's here with me except my youngest son who he's blessed. He's in Barbados in confinement on the beach. <laughs> well, we, we are here in nearly mandatory confinement, but it's not, not yet. So we're still able to come and go, but we've been keeping, keeping, um, keeping close to home. So I wanted to take this opportunity to greet you. I'm, I'm here at our home that we've rented and God provided for us at the perfect time. It fits my whole family. So I never knew that this day was coming. And I'm actually out here grilling, um, trying to kill some time. So I'm grilling. Here's my, uh, <laughs> I'm grilling some chicken. <laughs> Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. But as I began to grill just now, the, the fire kind of got out of hand. It, it, it kind of, you know, I thought the whole house was going to burn down for a second. And uh, it didn't remind me of hell's fire. It reminded me of God's refining fire. And I wanted to share this quick minute with you just to kind of minister to you and encourage you today in a kind of way. Um, you know, all of us around the world are probably in confinement, if not will be in confinement. Uh, Ron Cantor, our Israel director, he's like three days ahead of us. So he's been stuck in his house going nuts. But we're all finding ways. We're digging into the word of God. We're praying and drawing close to him. And the Bible says when we draw close to him, he draws close to us. So this is an amazing time. But as this fire began to explode, I wish you could have seen it. I remember the book of Malachi where he says that when we are crying out for God to come, he then says, but who can endure his coming? Because when he comes... He comes as a refiner's fire and a launderer's soap. And he's coming to, to refine us, to purify us, to make us precious. And, and that reminds me of, of how the refiner refines precious metals. What, does, what do they do? The process, they, they put it in a hot boiling cauldron. And then they turn the heat up. And as they turn the heat up, all of a sudden the impurities begin to, to rise to the surface. And the refiner then scoops them off or however they do it. And then when you think that it's refined enough, no, he turns the heat up a little bit more and more impurities come to the surface. And he follows that process for quite a while until that precious metal, until that metal becomes precious and it's fully refined. And, I, and God is also doing that in our lives. He refines us and he's always refining. He's always turning the heat up in certain areas. And sometimes you think it's the devil. Sometimes you're rebuking Satan. But it's God turning the heat up in your life. It's happened to me over and over and over again, where there's an area in my life. I remember I was struggling with patience. I was not a patient guy. And, and I have to go through test over test over test with patience until finally I can say I'm quite patient. I, I believe there's some more heat to come. But now as we are all kind of stuck and, and confined together, you're probably going to see things come to the surface in your life that, you didn't even know were there. Maybe it was a past emotion, a past mood, a past life. And all of a sudden these things in your area are starting to, to rise up as you're around family members, as, as you're getting uh, tired, you're getting hungry, you're getting uh, frustrated. Whatever area it is in your life, I just want to let you know that as you begin to experience these things, just let God do a work in your life right now. Let Him turn that heat up in your life. And let him begin to refine you. Let him bring those impurities to the surface. So you can see that they're still there. You can say, oh Lord, I, I didn't realize I still had this issue in my life. He's revealing it in these times, in this shaking. Friend, God is shaking right now. He's shaking nations, continents, cities, governments, banking institutions, economy. He's shaking the church of Jesus Christ as well. And he's shaking you and me. So let him refine us. And let's pray that through this process, we become even more precious. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for all of our God TV family, Lord, as you turn the heat up in our lives, that we would see it as a time of refining, a time that you are intervening and doing something in our life. Lord, may, may we acknowledge that and embrace that and bring that area in our life that needs to be taken away. May we bring it to you afresh. In Jesus' name, Lord, would you refine us and make us even more precious in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.
I love you.